Now, Dushant is our last speaker of the day. In his uh, nine years, he's from Pune, he's working in Synerzip, and he tells me that a uh, pretty stable, nice, gentle guy, I couldn't grill anything out of him, but he said he has a very good work-life balance between Counter-Strike and Japanese anime. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dushant, all yours. So am I audible? Yeah, it's on. OK, so yeah, so my topic is uh, comparison of Golang testing frameworks. So here I'm not going to uh, deep dive into any testing framework. But what I have tried to come up with is what are the key features of you know, uh, testing frameworks provided by the Go language, and uh, what we need more on, uh, in those frameworks so that uh, uh, it can make uh, testers or automation testers life easier. So here is the outline. So I'm going to talk about three types of uh, testing frameworks. One is unit testing, BDD, and REST API testing framework. And last, uh, I have some statistics about the uh, testing frameworks uh, which is in the Go versus the non-Golang testing frameworks. So yeah, so let's start with the unit testing frameworks. Yeah, so as we know, unit testing is uh, very much essential where we scrutinize and we test each and every units of our application independently to just make sure that they are working fine. Uh, in Golang, this unit testing is covered by the testing package. And uh, the testify extension is complement the testing package by providing the assertion and mocking and few other features as well. Uh, if we take, uh, uh, take a look at the, some key features that is provided by the testing uh, package of uh, Golang, those are the benchmarking, code coverage, and parallel execution. Uh, in, I mean, uh, in my, exp uh, this span of nine years of experience, I have not seen any kind of a uh, unit testing frameworks, which is providing this you benchmarking and code coverage out of the box. Even if we talk about the most uh, famous testing frame, unit testing framework uh, for Java, which is JUnit, that is also not, pro not providing you this benchmarking and code coverage feature out of the box. But JUnit is providing some of the features which we are, uh, which we are, uh, which are then, uh, not there in the Golang testing framework like test, uh, test fixtures, uh, I mean, let's say I have some preconditions before executing my test case, how I need to set it up in the go length testing frame uh, package. Parameterized test, I want to, I mean, I want to send some kind of a data uh, before, uh, not, not kind of hard-coded, but from my some kind of XML file or third-party file, right? So that is not possible, right, I mean, as of now in the testing uh, package. Data provider, or you can say table-driven test cases. So let's say uh, I'm having a test case for a login. Uh, for example, let's say login, and I want to verify that particular test case for, let's say, 1,000 of users and passwords. I can do that in your JUnit by using the data provider feature, or let's say test engine using the data provider feature. But in uh, Golang's test and, um, testing package, it is not possible. So if we get these three features, mainly these three features in Golang's testing package, or somehow some kind of a, uh, what you can say, a third party package, it would be wonderful to uh, have it in the Golang. Second is uh, BDD testing. So BDD, as name suggests, behavior driven development, so here, the development is driven based on the behavior of my application. So uh, my main consideration uh, for my testing or my development is my behavior of my application, how it behaves, and that is the my acceptance cri criteria, right? Uh, Go in Go, we are having a bunch of testing BDD testing frameworks: uh, Ginkgo, uh, Go Convey, Go Dog, Go Spec, Go Specify. Uh, here I have taken a, a framework which is Ginkgo and Gomega. So Ginkgo is a BDD testing framework uh, and uh, Gomega is uh, complemented by 
providing the uh, matchers and assertions. And now let's say if we can we compare this Ginkgo plus Gomega versus the most famous BDD testing framework, which is Cucumber. And Cucumber is having the uh, bindings for many languages, including uh, Ruby, Java, uh, JavaScript. So if we consider this, uh, if we compare this, the ma major reason or major drawback in, in Ginkgo plus Gomega is the performance, which we'll see later on uh, as a part of the uh, statistics that I have, co I have covered. But Ginkgo I, I have its own, uh, what you can say, features. Let's say it's providing the test, test fixtures out of the box. Uh, you can parallelly execute your specs. You can asynchronously uh, execute your specs. And yeah, it's providing you the table driven tests. But still, it needs some improvements. What improvements? So we need a feature file, right? So Cucumber is providing a feature file where your product owner uh, or let's say management will provide you the uh, user stories in the plain English text, right? Which anybody can understand. And based on that, you, you implement your test cases and you execute it. Ginkgo plus Gomega is not providing you that. Yeah, there is a uh, specs you can write, but it is, it is kind of a, what you can say, uh, mix up with your code, right? So for in that particular ma uh, mat uh, manner, it is a bit difficult to understand or read out for the product manager or the management team because it's mixed up with the code. Major drawback, no integration with the Selenium for the web testing, right? So for web testing, Selenium is the most, uh, what you can say, is the only thing that we can use. Uh, I mean, yeah, QTP is there, but open source or let's say freeware, you can use a uh, Selenium is the only one. Right, Cucumber is having its own integration with the Selenium, but in Golang, uh, we do have a few uh, what you can say Selenium bindings, but that are that are still not integrated with the Ginkgo or any or, or or in matter of fact, not any BDD testing frameworks. And whatever Selenium bindings are there as of now, those are not kind of uh, what you can say full fledged or still they are in their early stages. And as I said, performance. So that we are going to see uh, later on. Uh, third type is my REST API testing. So yeah, so REST API is nothing but we are testing our application without using the user interface, right? So here my one program will send requests to my another uh, server or what you can say program and that way it will verify that the, uh, the output that I'm receiving, it's uh, as expected or not, right? So Golang uh, is having their own REST API, uh, REST API testing frameworks, which is uh, Frisbee and Fristit. So Frisbee is inspired by the JavaScript's uh, REST API testing framework, frisbee.js. Uh, and I can say it's e very, very simple to implement the REST API test using the uh, Frisbee. Uh, now let's say, Let's take a REST Assured, which is a Java, uh, what you can say, Java testing framework for the REST APIs, and which is famous as well. So if you compare Frisbee versus the uh, REST Assured, right? So there are a few improvements which we needed in the Frisbee, but Frisbee is having their own kind of a features, which, which is Frisbee is covering all the basic, uh, what you can say, HTTP methods like put, uh, get, post, put, patch, delete, I mean all the CRUD operation basically. Uh, it provides the assertion, so unlike the uh, two uh, earlier frameworks, which is unit testing framework and BDD testing framework, where we need uh, a separate library for the my assertion or matchers, here it is not It is not the case. So Frisbee, it's in build providing you the assertion and, uh, yeah, and matchers. Uh, Frisbee, it's having its own, uh, what you can say, JSON and XML parsers. So you do, not, you do not have to rely on third party XML parser or JSON parsers to parse your response and to validate your uh, expected result. But it needs the improvement, right? So what we need is, yeah, we need a BDD style of testing, uh, BDD style which, is, which needs to be included in the Frisbee, then it would be uh, what you can say uh, uh, a better thing to have. 
Uh, another thing is we do not have any kind of a continuous integration for Frisbee, right? So if you talk about the rest of your, I can combine it with any kind of a, uh, the continuous integration tool for say Jenkins, but Frisbee, uh, we are not having that. Uh, 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 on the other hand, frisbee.js from where we, ha I mean, we, we got this Frisbee for the Golang, it is having its own uh, uh, kind of a method where we can generate the J unit XML reports and we can integrate it with, uh, with the, uh, this continuous integration, but here we are not having. And yeah, again, the data provider or table driven test, right? So as I said earlier, uh, if I want to test my same test case with multiple data or set of my data, here we are not having that particular provision. So if we got it, then it would be good. Yeah, so so far, so now we have looked at the the three frameworks, or what you can say, three type of uh, testing frameworks in Go plus non-Go languages. Uh, I have uh, created kind of a simple, uh, what you can say, uh, test suit. Uh, it's it's not kind of a complicated. It's not checking any kind of a, what you can say concurrency. Nothing. It's a simple sequential test cases, just to uh, check that okay, how my Go go length testing frameworks performances performance in terms of the execution time and nothing else right so i have implemented a scenario where uh, i have to provide the three sides of or or, or what you can say dimension of three sides of my triangle and based on the calculation it will give me okay what kind of a triangle it is it's a equilateral skyline or isoscale right and i have executed this uh, test case on my yeah, six frameworks, which is unit testing for test, testi testing plus testify uh, versus JUnit, BD testing Ginkgo uh, versus Cucumber, and REST API testing in Frisbee uh, against the REST Azure. So each run consists 100 test cases, 100 test cases for Go and 100 test cases for non-Go. And I have executed the same uh, suit for 10 times and I have measured the time. So all the timings are in the seconds. So as you can see, uh, my testing plus testify is way, way, way better than the J unit. Same the uh, REST API, I mean Frisbee, so which is also a way, way, way uh, good than the REST Azure in terms of the uh, execution speed. But Ginkgo plus Gomega, it's, it's still lagging in, uh, with, with compared to Cucumber. So, Thank you. All right, questions? Go on. Uh, hi, uh, when you uh, show the chart uh, of uh, testing plus testify versus J unit, yep. uh, doesn't it actually depend on the language as well? Uh, how, how can you compare J unit with uh, something like testing and testify? Because J unit Essentially, you are testing something in Java, and uh, uh, with with testing and testify, you are testing something in Go. So, how do you? I mean, uh, is that a reasonable comparison? Uh, I can say yes, right? Uh, because let's say if my application, if this this basically will prove that uh, the application uh, that I am I'm building. Right. If I build on the Go platform, then it will give me the much more performance, right? But plus, uh, the test cases and the test methods are all the same, uh, which I have used in the uh, testing plus testify and JUnit. Both are the same. So there is, so uh, basically, processing wise, there is no difference, right? So whatever I am doing in the Go, the same thing I am doing in the JUnit, and I am executing the ex exact number of test cases in both of the uh, frameworks. No, but but the underlying uh, application you are testing in uh, is in two different uh, uh, languages, right? Yeah, but I mean, being being it's a unit testing framework, you can you can you cannot use the third party uh, what you can say platform, right? Which I have done in the REST API testing framework, right? So where my server or or from where my REST APIs have been exposed, it is written in the Node.js, right? So it's a it's a altogether independent platform where I where I have built my 
uh, what you can say the server. But while I am testing the APIs, I am using the Go and the Java. But being it's unit testing, uh, uh, I cannot uh, rely on the uh, same development platform. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.